Hi everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You're back to Latif Adi Rimeji sheds hot tears today as his lover gives him a huge pre-birthday surprise. A video of this Yuba actor, Latif Adi Rimeji, receiving a huge surprise from his alleged lover, Bimbo Yubadi, has surfaced on social media. In the video, Latif was caught on her way and he was seen looking stunned and trying really hard to fight back tears. Following the surprise, pre-birthday serenade he received. Showing this video on social media platform, the surprise complaint, Royal Hog Surprises Roots, a call from Bimbo Yibadi to give Latif Adi Dimitri a royal hug this evening. We know he might have so many surprises, so we decided to be the first to give him a taste. We actually surprised him two years ago when he cried like a baby. We remembers, but this year was all dance dance. Happy, happy birthday in advance, sir. Long life in good health. You are indeed a vibe. We are glad we could make you happy. All thanks to Bimbo Yibadi. Thank you so much, ma, for always choosing royal hugs. And reacting to this, the initiator of this surprise, Bimpo Yibadi Roots, you guys are the best. And since this video has been shared, there has been a lot of reactions. Just a while ago, Bimpo Yibadi stated that she would rather keep mom about the speculations of her marriage to Latif and the pregnancy news trailing her. This was in an interview with Sunday School. Bimpo said, people want to know my relationship status, but the only thing I have to say is that wedding pregnancy or anything would cannot be hidden forever. One way or the other, people would find out. I don't like to be pressurized, even though I feel like doing it. Many people talk to me. The first thing they ask me is if I'm married to Latifa Adelinichi. I do not deny the fact that it's very important to me and also the closest person to me. But at every point, people want to know what is happening between us. I'm not tired of that, actually, because I know that I will still get a lot of it. So Latifa Adelinichi will be 35 years old. According to Google, it was one of February 1 in 1986. So happy birthday in advance to Latif Adedimeji. Please stay with us if you want to know more about the celebrant, Latif Adedimeji. He has become one of the most sought after actors in the Yuba movie industry, where he's currently holding sway and winning awards back to back. He's a popular Yuba actor who has led in several movies over the years alongside major names in the movie industry. He was equally opportune to work with ARDA due to his writing progress. These are some of his awards. 2016 Best of Hollywood Awards for Best Actor in a Legio Yuba, 2015 Best on Hollywood Awards for Best Actor in a Legio Yoruba, City People Entertainment Awards for 2016 Best Supporting Actor of the Year Yoruba, Heritage Award in Atlanta for Best Actor Award for his role in Kudi Klepto, Odo a Movie Award for Best Actor Award in 2014 and 2015 respectively, City People Movie Awards for Best Actor of the Year Yoruba 2018, and he's also the face of many brands both nationally and internationally. Latif Adedimiju was one of everyone as mentioned earlier, and he's the fourth born in a family of six. He studied mass communication in Olabisi and Omanja University. Though he was born in Oshudi, he grew up in Jakwande Estate in the solar area of Lagos State, where he attended both his primary and secondary schools. It was whilst in secondary school that Latif joined an NGO organization, Community Life Project, where he acquired the skills to act and write. He often show off some of his family members on his social media platform. This includes his brother and his sister. Latif has been on stage since the age of 15, but started acting professionally in the year 2007. He landed his very first major role in Kudi Klepto, which was produced by UND at Dekoya. This was the movie that shot him to the limelight. And his career has grown rapidly since then. This graduate of mass communication from Ola Bishon Omaji University, OU, has been in this industry for quite a while. But then it took him a while before it was discovered. What well, Latif had this to say in an interview, the truth is that when you take your time to do something, you must ask yourself if it is worth the risk and the risk to build yourself on the necessary things you should build yourself with. So when you get into the real and bigger picture, you'll be able to manage yourself and stand the test of time. For me, it is not only about the talent that you have, it is about how well you have been able to nurture and develop your talent. How long will you be able to last with that talent? What happened was that I took my time to build a lot of characters that would help me to keep going on throughout the journey. And some of these characters that Latif added the major beauty over the years includes Yakbeju, the character of the middle-aged woman that he currently showcases on the social media platform, and also another character of an evil middle-aged man. Talking about these characters, he said the fact is that you can't wear or stay in one character for a long time. People will get bored. I would want to see you in another character. So I've built enough characters that can last me for another 30 years in the industry. As soon as one character is out of touch, I switch into another character. So if you are lucky to have like 5 characters that can stand the test of time for another 40 or 50 years, 
then you know you're going to remain relevant for a long time. So I took my time in building myself on a lot of characters because I realized that when fame comes, it might get a little bit busy for me and I might get caught up in the web of issues of life. This was what we reviewed. As mentioned earlier, Latifi didn't get his training strictly in the Uber movie industry. He had his training before he joined the movie industry. He was trained by the NGO. He remembers that when he started training back in secondary school, when this NGO would visit schools to pick some of the best students, they would take them to the organization for proper training. At that time, getting information across to the grassroots people was always a difficult task. So this NGO would go to secondary schools, pick the students, train them on like 18 different topics, and then they would make them go through the topics to become a peer educator and counselor. So that was where it all started from Lativa Didimiji. From that time on, he built a passion for affecting people. It was not really the acting per se. But the fact that he would be able to impact knowledge in others at that young age. After leaving her institution, he produced his very first movie, Shiriki, and he had a veteran as Inka Kodri, Fitia Balogun, the late Buki Ajayi, B.C. Komala Fair, Joshua Ujo, who is Mufu in Fuji House of Commotion. And he also directed this movie. As he also reviewed in an interview that the very first location he went to was in Ibadan. Despite all he had learnt before he joined the movie industry, he had to drop everything and became an errand boy. He followed David Otemulu holding the camera around. So if they needed anything on set, Lati was the one getting for them. He did that for about three days on set and he appeared in like one or two scenes later on three until he got his big break. That was when he and the Adekoya shot a Melemo show. He was supposed to be in the part one of that movie but because he had a fight with his bosses, they asked him to stay away from location. So what went wrong? According to Lati, I went to location without their express permission and I was punished for it. I was trying 10,000 naira, and I told them I didn't have that much kind of money then. So I went back home. I was always persuading them to lift the suspension so that I could return to locations. But as God would have it, you and they had shot the part one and part two of the movie. But the part two had not been completed, so they wanted to shoot some few scenes. I were on the location in Oyota, and you and they came around. She said she wanted me to shoot one or two scenes, but I ended up shooting two scenes. When she was going to shoot her next movie, Kudi Klepto, she insisted that she wanted me. You know they told me? She believed I could do it even if everybody didn't believe in me either. And she decided to go with me. So I got the script, I started rehearsing in my own, and I got to the set, I did my thing, and the movie came out, it became a big one. That was the movie that gave Latifa Adedemiji his big break. Things were not always rosy when this young man joined the movie industry. Sometimes he was even paid 1,000 naira after 10 days on location, and sometimes 10,000 naira, sometimes 15,000 naira. But today that is history, as Latif is now one of the highest paid in the movie industry, with a lot of mouth-watching endorsement use. Once again, happy birthday to Latif Adedimeji. We have come to the end of this episode, where Latif Adedimeji sheds odd tears, as his lover Bimbo Yubadi gives him a huge happy birthday surprise. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for daily content.